What's up, everybody? Big Herc916. And you tune in to another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel, for supporting, for uh, leaving comments. Really appreciate you guys. I'm almost at that 40,000 giveaway. And um, look forward to uh, the Sinister Monopoly painting that's going to be awarded to somebody who's uh, a subscriber. So. Um, anyways, I want to talk about stop using failure as an alibi. A lot of times people want to make excuses or justify why they haven't did something or uh, why they can't do something or why they wouldn't have done something. And the whole thing is, if you think that you're not going to have failures in life, then you don't understand what life's about. There's always going to be challenges in life. There's always going to be obstacles in life. And there's always going to be things that are going to, um, you know, make you think as far as maybe you can't do something. But at the whole time, it's making sure you appreciate it once you do accomplish it. See, I don't look at uh, shortcomings as failures. I look at them as life lessons and I look at it as though whatever it was that I did that created a shortcoming, there has to be an antithesis to that, which is a success or something that is, you know, so profound at the other end that it's going to cause a balance for whatever it was I didn't succeed at. And for me, I feel that whatever it is I'm, I'm, you know, accomplishing or working towards is is greater than I could imagine. So I always look at whatever it is that I didn't accomplish at the time will be accomplished in tenfold down the road, and that's kind of how you got to look at whenever you're trying to succeed at things that you know you don't maybe have all the information on or things that are unforeseen. You know, somebody has to be a trailblazer. Unless you're handed something, then yeah, you might have a temporary setback. But that's a part of life. You know, there's been many a great inventors, um, scientists, entrepreneurs who have had numerous failures. But through those failures, they learn what not to do. The guy who started Alibaba, you know, multi, multi-billionaire, had numerous failures. And you can read about, um, you know, various entrepreneurs and, and see that a lot of times they were on the brink of just giving up before they met success. But that's a part of what makes you resilient. That's a part of what makes you uh, determined. And that's why, you know, there's not a whole lot of people in the 1%. You know, a lot of people, they'll basically settle before they proceed to challenge themselves again and risk failure. But the challenge is what makes you. It's not the failure. It's going beyond the failure to see the success. I've been in some very dark places. I've done a lot of soul searching and I know if you want to be at the top of the heap, you have to believe wholeheartedly that that's your calling, that's your purpose. A lot of times people second guess themselves or they think that maybe they're not worthy. Well, you, you are worthy. It's just a matter of how much energy do you want to put into accomplishing that goal. Now somebody told me, Big Herc, man, all you do is talk about money. All you do is talk about, you know, hustling and money. And, well, you don't want to hear about trying to become successful? You don't want money? You want to live meager? You're, you're comfortable? Hey, man, I don't knock that. I'm very happy if you're happy. But don't knock my success. Ask Jeff Bezos. Axel, Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, man, 
Stop developing Facebook. You know, let it be. No more. Uh, Bill Gates, no more programs, no more Microsoft. Just, you know, you reached a point, you should be plateaued. Be happy. Ask those guys. Hey, man, I'm, I, I don't have any glass ceilings. And my whole thing is feeding positive energy. Positive energy comes back in return. And that's what I'm about is trying to channel that and stay on that frequency. If, you're, if you don't really hear the big message, the big message is be confident, overcome fear, don't let your failures or shortcomings throw you off track, and believe in yourself. That's the, that's the message. The residual from that is money. Because if you're successful and you accomplish certain things, you can provide for your family, you can provide for the people around you, you can help people, and that's what money is. Money is the, uh, the outcome of success. So, I mean, you know, if you're successful, you're, you're going to be pretty well off. You should be able to take care of business. Otherwise, you know, if, if you were success, if it didn't mean that you'd be, everybody be homeless. So, stop telling me about, hey, all I do is talk about money because, yeah, I'm going to talk about money because it's the, uh, the residual from basically exercising your time wisely. It's the reward. But uh, I'm all about I'm all about the hustle, all about the positivity, and making things happen, man. That's what I was put on earth to do is be successful and make things happen. I don't know what you were here for. Maybe you're here just to eat, shit, and go to sleep. If that's what you're here for, hey, man, go have a burrito on me. Blow your butt cheeks out. And, uh, you know, be happy. Eat some Doritos. But uh, I got a bigger calling. And I'm here to share it. And, uh, like, uh, the things I've been through in life haven't been in vain. And this is my way of giving back. Being positive, motivating you guys. Don't let your failures be an alibi. Stop making excuses. Get off your ass. Make it happen. And try, try again. You know? If it's a positive thing, hey, keep it pushing, man. If it's something negative, you should learn from it. You know, you should you should really take time to think about where you're at, what you did, and if this is something you want to continue. But if what you're doing is going to put you on a right a righteous path, man, hey, don't let anybody take you off your path, man. Keep pushing. Be positive. Stay motivated. That's what this Big Herc 916 movement's all about. Holler at me, BigHerc916.com.